Welcome to this tutorial where I'll walk through the steps of creating a project in Reclamation's instance of Project Firma. Before creating a project, first I have to log in. Once I've logged into the system and requested appropriate permissions from an administrator, I can add a project to the home screen. I can either add a new project or backfill an existing project. In this tutorial, I'll add a new project. Before we begin this new project proposal, we will be presented with an instruction screen where we can see some information on what we will be presented in the project proposal workflow. Before stepping into the proposal workflow, it's important to note that Project Firma uses a draft review approved process for creating and updating projects within the application. Project proposals are drafted, then reviewed by administrators before they are approved to become official records within the application. Now that we have an idea of how our approval process works, let's return to our project proposal. First, I'll select my project type, and I'll choose a complexity type in the Lim High Basin. I'll then name my project and enter a brief description and some key dates. As I continue on to the next stages in the workflow, I can complete the required information and save and continue. Here at the simple location, I can hold shift and drag my cursor to zoom in to a specific point on the map and click to plot a point. I can refine this point by adjusting the lat long coordinates or if my project doesn't have a location, I can click no location and enter a note. On the project detailed step of the workflow, I can use the drawing tool to add some more information to my project location. I could also add a GDB file. As I move on to the organizations that are associated with my project, I can type a name into the drop-down and select an organization to add. For partners, I can add many organizations by selecting and clicking Add. I can repeat this for my project design and service providers. Similar to organizations, I can add individuals as contacts to my project. It's important to note that the project primary contact will receive system generated emails for significant events that take place during the life cycle of this project. Here within the spatial information category of the workflow, I can associate my project to all or a few of the geospatial layers for which projects can be grouped. By checking the boxes and clicking the bulk set button, I can then see the geospatial areas that were associated to my project based on its simple location. I can confirm the geospatial shapes that were set based on my simple location by toggling the layers on and off. Additionally, after I've saved this bulk set, I'm taken to the individual layers which I've already associated through my simple location. I can add more shapes or remove them as I refine this spatial information. Now that I've set my geospatial layer information through the bulk set button, I'll jump forward to the accomplishments section and enter an expected accomplishment for this project. I'll select a metric and add it to my list where I can then enter a value for that metric. I can enter multiple values for a metric and delete a record by clicking on the trash can next to the entry. For a project, I can choose to enter my budget information in a couple different ways. I can choose to enter a budget that is a simple budget that does not change by year. Or I can create a budget that varies across years, cost types, and multiple funding sources. Here I've selected all the cost types and one funding source and I'll enter some budget information. Here I'll enter some budget information for my project and choose to enter the values in the early years as obligated fundings 
and the values in out years as unobligated funding. I can confirm the totals in the columns at the edge of the grid and then the display at the bottom of the workflow page. Here on the classification step of the workflow, I can associate my project to many focal species and many project goals as I capture the multiple benefits my project intends to address. Here I can also attach photos to my project proposal. And on the final step of the workflow, I can attach any documents or data sets for the project and add a note to capture any important information. Now that I've successfully submitted my project for review, let's take a look at a project proposal from an administrative perspective. I'll enter into this Lim High complexity proposal. Here I can review all the information that was previously entered during the proposal workflow. I can see the different contacts, metrics, and other information associated to this proposal. If I open the review workflow, I can edit this information and approve, return, or reject this proposal. Now that the project is approved, I can navigate to the full project list and I can find that this project is now an official record within the system. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create a project in Reclamation's instance of Project Firma. For more information, please reference the training materials or request support through the Help tab.